Hi everyone, today we're going to be creating a Renaissance style oil painting Photoshop edit using an image of our pet. The image that I've used in this tutorial is royalty free, so I've added the link in the description below so you can download it and work along with me. This is going to be a really fun tutorial, so I can't wait to see what we come up with. Let's get started. So from our layers panel down in the right hand corner, I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to hide our background. On the new layer, which is called background copy, I'm going to go over to the left hand toolbar and select the third button down, which is the lasso tool. If yours is on a magnetic lasso, you can right click by changing that there. Now I'm going to roughly take a selection of this lady's head just very rough around the outsides, making sure that the end point touches the start point. There we go. So I'm going to go up into Edit, and if you're on a new version of Photoshop, you'll have this Content Aware fill. But if you're on an older version, you can just go into Fill change the drop down here into content aware and press OK. That will do a really rough job for us of filling in what Photoshop thinks is missing from our selection. Okay so that's not perfect but it's not too bad for what we're doing. So I've just deselected that using Control or Command and D. So I'm going to open in a new tab the image of my dog which is the lovely Maisie. Again, I'm just going to take a really rough selection using the lasso tool out from her head and her very pointy ears. In this image, I've gone for quite a sombre look. Maisie usually looks a lot more happy than this. But I really wanted this image to show a more serious side to her. Then I'm going to go up to edit and press copy. And I'm going to go back into our original image, go to edit and press paste. So she's loaded quite small because of the size difference, but I can use Command and T on that layer. This box here means that the proportions will stay the same, so she won't have any unusual shapes. And I'm just going to make her head a little bit bigger so that it fits that space quite nicely. And I think that'll do. Okay, so as we can see, it's not perfect. I'm going to use this little button down at the bottom here which will add a new layer mask and this just means if we make any mistakes the image is still there and once you've selected on this white palette you want to have your colours set to white and black and we're going to change it to black and go to a brush. Now because she's got quite fluffy ears I am going to change the hardness to quite low to try and keep that feathery effect of her fur change the brush size, this is quite a big pile. Okay, and I'm just going to roughly paint around the edges using the black, just trying to erase all of the flooring from behind her. If you have a really fluffy dog, this might be quite difficult, so feel free to spend as much time on this section as you do need to. So if we do make a mistake, we can use the X key, which will change our palette to white, and draw over where we want to come back and then press X again to change back to black and carry on erasing. Now for the neckline. So again, I'm gonna to stick to using the adjustment layer and I'm just gonna erase. I don't really want her collar in this shot. So let's take that off. And let's move her around. So this lady had quite a small neckline, which Maisie doesn't, which is a bit more difficult. So let's just into some of this white for a bit of shape. That's better. Okay, awesome. So to make that flow a bit more naturally, um, I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to use the option tool, still on the brush, and I'm just going to select some of these darker shadows. I might actually take it from out here. Okay, and I'm going to make my brush quite small. Still want it really, really feathery and light and I'm just going to paint whoops, around the lower part of her neckline where it would be touching this Elizabethan collar. So that obviously looks a bit strange and out of place right now 
but what I'm going to do is right click on this layer and press create clipping mask and what that will do is apply it directly to the layer that we've got of Maisie's neck. I'm also going to mess around with the opacity of this a little bit as well because I don't want it to be quite harsh, I just want that little subtle shadow forming around the bottom of her neck as if the neck is going into a collar. I'm just going to add a little touch more on the sides just to fully blend that collar into her neck. And that is near enough done. However, you will notice there is a clear difference between the digital and the oil painting and there's a quick way that we can resolve this. So if we go up to filter and we're going to stylize and there is an option here called oil paint. Now depending on the image that you've used of your pet will depend on the settings that you put into this oil paint. I'm going to take the cleanliness down just to match the oldie worldie style of the original painting. And I'm going to keep the scale quite high, again because we're using quite a large image, but play around with these and use them to your own judgement. I'm also going to uncheck this lighting box at the bottom here. Now you can see that the textures of Maisie's face start to blend in with the textures of our painting. I'm going to go back onto the background copy and I'm going to select the rectangle marquee tool. And with this I'm just going to highlight an area in the background of the frame, press command C to copy and command V to paste. Now this little section here I'm going to bring right to the top so it's on top of everything and I'm going to make it cover the whole of Maisie's face. This seems counterproductive but you'll see why in just a second. So down here in our blending mode, I'm going to change this to, let's have a little play, I'm going to change this blending mode to lighten and I'm also going to press right click and create clipping mask. So that will only apply to the mazy layer. You can have a little play with the opacity of that as well, but hopefully that will start to add some of the textures that will help mazy blend into the image and look more naturally a part of it. And there we go, there is our final edit of Maisie as the Queen. I've also put a link to another free stock image that you could use from an image that I posted earlier with Alfie the Dasher. This technique is great fun and it's great to make your pets look really serious. So for more fun tutorials check out iPhotography course on YouTube. We also post a weekly blog every Thursday over at www.iphotography.com forward slash blog where you can find more fun and creative ideas for your photography. Thanks for joining me. See you soon, guys.